hey, let me show you how we can create data and maybe a small example on how we can retrieve um, associations. Um, so let's start by installing a package called Faker. Let me show that to you. So it's this one. I will put a link in the description if you want to check it. So this will just give us a set of functions that we can generate some data. So for example, name, address, text, email, a lot of things actually. Um, so yeah, to start using that, let me open a new terminal. So I need to activate your um, virtual environment. So source, my Python, activate, or bin, sorry, then activate. Now I need to pip install Faker. I already did that, so you just need to do this. A pip install Faker. But I already have it, so. Okay. So what I will do, I will create a file called Faking Users inside the entities. And I'll import a couple of things, so let me copy paste. So, from pony.rm, import the db session. So the db session is a decorator that we will decorate our functions with, and this will handle uh, the connection and the committing to the database, which is very nice. Um, then JSON, this is the built-in package in Python. I'll use this to display data in the console. And is I'm importing the fakery class and creating an instance. So let's just start by defining a function that will fake some users and it will accept uh, a users, the user's entity, the post entity, and the amount, which is by default uh, 10. So for, I will just loop uh, the same uh, amount as the amount. So I, I don't care about the variable, so I'll put it as underscore. So what I will do, I'll just create an instances um, from the user's entity and I will pass uh, a named argument or named parameters so first name will be equal to fake that first name second name which I should name last name will be equal to fake that last name now the age will be equal to fake that random integer that starts at, it, at starts at 18 and ends at 99 so this will randomize or will get a random integer between this range and now for the email, I will call this ASCII free email. So there's a possibility this, that this email will be duplicated and this will throw an error, but I, I don't care about that. I don't think this will happen for a small amount of users. Maybe it will, but yeah. And the about is uh, not a bit, so it's okay. We, can, we don't need to put it. And this is it. This is will create 10 users. So let me drop the database because I can just delete it I, because I already saved some data. I was testing some things. So, and let's import this function in the main. So, from um, faking users of pi without my import, fake users, and at the end, just call it. And this will accept the users class and the posts class, which we don't have. This will be equal, this will be equal to the return uh, from the diff post entity which I don't believe it returns anything, so we need to return the post class from here. Uh, this should work, so Python 3, entities, then main.py. Okay, so let's go to our database and look at the users. Now we have 10 users, which is nice. Uh, I will delete it again. Okay. So now I'll get a function called creating posts and which will accept the users and the posts entities and let me create it here so this will also be decorated to the db session and now i will select the users all of them and for each user so for each user in users i will create a post so posts uh, title will be equal to fake dot name body will be equal to just this should be a string so fake dot paragraphs returns are a large string but this will return a list for some reason i'm not sure why so we can just fix this so 
empty string to join and pass uh, this and the third argument is the user itself so I'll just assign this user and this will link the user underscore ID with the current user we are loading on uh, this should be it and yeah I can just call it and let's go to the database see the users so we have 10 users let's go to the posts we should see 10 posts as well okay 10 posts id title and the body which is very long text or at least it's a medium text but and the user id so for each user it's linked here uh, and if you want to test that if this relation exists and the foreign key is linked correctly we can i can show you how we can uh, get the users for each post so let me define a session uh, did call the db session to creator on this function called get underscore users posts so it will accept the users and the posts now print this is why i imported the json module so json dot dumps or use the dictionary data will be equal to our list now for each pn posts so i think this would only accept the posts uh, in posts dot select p dot user dot there is this function called to dictionary so this will get us the user for each posts oops I, I forgot to call it so let me go to my end of python also import this I will comment this one and pass the posts class. Uh, join is not defined. Because it's written. Uh, why? Yeah, sorry, so this is JSON. Anyway, <laughs> so let me show you, show you the result. So these are the users for each of the posts we have. We have now 20, if not more, I think. I think 20, yeah. Uh, I think this is why they call it the most Pythonic, I think. Or, um, it looks more like Python than SQL. So yeah, this is like simple examples. I will put a link in the description for the documentations or, or the uh, part of the documentation that is related to the things I showed you. And that's it.